All right, Facebook world. Good morning, Zach Dean here. This is really exciting. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to share with you biohacking tips and strategies and secrets for improving your sleep. 14 different sleep techniques that I'm gonna share with you to make sure that you have the best night's sleep of your entire life every single night for the rest of your life. That's my intention for you guys. Sleep is number one. We can be eating healthy, we can be exercising, but if our sleep is off, not everything else is so much harder. Our relationships are harder. We have foggy minds. We can't think well. Our emotions aren't 100% in check. It affects our finances. It affects our um, performance at work and things like that. So sleep, in my opinion, is number one. So if you're watching this, it's super early, Sunday morning, right? 8 a.m. Sydney time, 6 a.m. Perth time. And if you're watching this recording, it maybe means that you need to follow some of these tips. Um, so if you are waking up with a foggy mind, if you're finding it hard to get out of bed, if you're relying on coffee to really kickstart your day, if you feel like you're not an addict of coffee, but you need it to get started, um, this, is a pod this is a video for you. Really excited to share these with you. Um, and just I want you guys to imagine something for a second. Imagine that you wake up every single morning, wake up tomorrow, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year, and you have this amazing mental clarity. You have a 10 out of 10 energy. You're looking down, you're feeling really slim and tender and strong in your body. You're feeling grounded. You know, how is this going to affect the rest of your life? Right now, we're facing some incredible, incredibly stressful times. And uh, why not feel really grounded, really healthy, really strong in your own body? And that comes with a great quality sleep. Um, I want to th thank every single one of you for listening to this. If you have some friends in here, please tag them in the comments below. I would also love to uh, hear your tips sleep tips. So please comment your favorite sleep tip that you hear from here or that you have at home. Something that I've missed because I'm not going to be able to share everything. And uh, yeah, super grateful to share this opportunity with you guys. So sleep is, uh, is really important. I want to get into this, but really quickly, my story and how I got invited here. Um, I was introduced through one of the friends here, um, Je Jell. Um, thank you so much for having me. And uh, for those who don't know, I've been a health coach for about five or six years. I um, have a mum who's a naturopath, a dad who's a, a stepdad who was a yoga teacher. Uh, my second stepdad was a psychotherapist. And uh, I've been health coaching for many, many years now. I have a YouTube channel with hundreds of recipes. I run health events. I do this thing called Broth Night where we have uh, hundreds of people rock up to eat broth, bone broth. <laughs> and so that's traveled around the country before the virus hit and everything like that. So um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. And now I'm just going to deep dive into some of these strategies. So strategy number one, I don't know if I can see your comments here, guys. Hang on a minute. Damn, I can't see the, the, the comments. Anyway, all good. Um, so if you're out there, say hi, thumbs up emoji, all good. Step number one is if we want to improve our sleep, we need to have purpose, vision, and mission. We really need to create a vision that's exciting and compelling for our life. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but there's been times in my life where I haven't had clarity I haven't ha I felt stuck on procrastinating. I felt really uh, low on life and low self-worth. And because of that, I wasn't getting to sleep on time. It wasn't allowing me to get out of bed and be excited for life. So I think really believe step number one to improving our sleep is creating a, a vision that's compelling, a, a mission that's compelling, a um, yeah, purpose that's all around what excites you in life, what inspires you. So um, I think the best way to do this and really quickly, if you have a pen and paper, write down what excites you in life, all the things that excite you, even the littlest things. If you love knitting, if you love board games, if you love skydiving, you know, all these things, write out what excites you in life, all the things, and then write down what excites you right now in life. So what is it that excites you right now? Is it learning? Is it, is it your business? Is it your family? Is it you know, learning about health? What is it that's most exciting? And if you, get, if you get clear on what most excites you of your values and then schedule them into your day, it completely changes your energy and feel for the day. I'm sure you guys can agree. 
So that's step number one, right? Create a vision that's really empowering. Step number two is so practical. This is something you can do every single day is get clear on a morning routine and get clear on, a, on an evening routine. Two to three things at, in the morning, two to three things at night that help you either in the morning start your day powerfully or in the evening wind you down to really create a relaxing environment. So this is what you can do right now. Put on your piece of paper, morning routine, evening routine, write two or three things there and stick to them for the next 30 days. I'm going to share with you all a whole bunch of strategies right now so you'll be able to fill in those two to three things and just try it out, right? Try it out, see if it feels good. If it doesn't work, don't use it. If it feels good and it helps, keep doing that, right? Follow the results. So what I want to back this up to is all, sleep is all about getting back in touch with the natural rhythm of the sun and the natural rhythm of the sun coming up and the natural rhythm of the sun going down. What this is all about is circadian biology. Circadian bi biology. So if you want to Google that, look into it. Really, it's the biology of, of the, our brain and the cycles of our hormones and our sleep cycle that if we can get in the natural rhythm of nature, the frequencies of the earth, we can feel a deeper level of relaxation and calm and sleep and repair. And during the day, we can have more energy and flow. So this is all about getting back in touch with nature. We live in a world, right? The biggest challenge right now is we live in a world where we're indoors all the time, right? We're, we got clothes on, we're under fake light, we've got fake food and tech, to toxins and fake light, and all these different things around us that are ruining our biology, our sleep bi biology. And so... Um, the first strategy right now, guys, is if, and this is the one that will, if you did this every single day for the rest of your life, it will completely transform your sleep, your energy, your weight, everything about you, um, for the better. And this is, this is really simple. It's free. It doesn't cost any money. It's all about getting the sunrise every single day. So the sunrise is Obviously, if you can get it, or if you have a backyard that has you know access to the sky or whatever it is, if you're in an apartment block, get outside. The first thing you want to do in the morning, get outside. Ideally, go to the beach. You know, ground yourself, connect your feet to the wet earth, the 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 grass or the ocean, and that creates a full circuit from the sun to you being connected to the earth. It's a full circuit, and that's helping build. Uh, the melatonin in your skin. We actually produce and and um, create the melatonin through our whole skin and in, in our brain in the morning. When we have the sun, it builds the melatonin up. So then at nighttime, when we don't have the sun, when we, don't, when we have darkness for two to three hours in the evening, it starts to release the melatonin. So people don't, you know, people are taking melatonin supplements and stuff like that. We can increase our melatonin naturally through getting the sunrise, exposing our eyes to the sun, the red light, don't worry, you're not going to get burnt. The first you know, 20, 30 minutes of the sun being up, there's no UV. And that sun going into the eye creates nutrition. Yes, there's vitamin D, but there's thousands of other uh, chemical reactions that happen from our skin. Our skin is an organ, right? Our skin, it will help detox and push out toxins, but it also take in nutrition. It takes in what we're putting on our face. It takes in this, the water. So it's really important to get that sun in the morning. It's creating and ideally on our entire body. If you can, be naked, right? <laughs> if you can, that'll be awesome. Um, if you can't, no worries whatsoever. And so ideally on your whole body, connect to the earth. If, even if it's five or 10 minutes, it's waking your brain up. You know, first thing, you don't want to be on your phone, right? And that, that fake light in the morning, it ruins our hormones. So the whole idea is no technology in the morning. Go see the sunrise, get that natural light, that red light onto the face. It's very anti-aging, increases ATP and repairing of the skin. And so first step is get that sunrise, okay? Hopefully you guys write that down. If there's one strategy you take from this, this video, it's do the sunrise just for the next week. Try it out. It's going to be hard the first couple of days, but as you get into it, I start waking up before my alarm. I have so much clarity. I'm so excited for the sun. You know, there's the window here. It's like I get excited for the sun. It actually incre it produces dopamine and serotonin and all these happy, high healing hormones. It's created through the sun. It's free. Do it. It's the best thing ever. Um, awesome. If you guys have just joined us, I'm going through a whole bunch of strategies on health and wellness mainly focusing on sleep. Uh, if you want to share your favorite health strategy, um, sorry, sleep strategy, comment below and tag some friends in here. Would love to get your feedback and uh, see your what, what strategies are working for you. All right, strategy number three is obviously reducing caffeine, stimulants, and sugar. Easy peasy. 
You know, if you're addicted to caffeine, sugar, and stimulants, it's gonna find you're gonna find it really hard to get to sleep. Step number five. This is really unique. In our brain, our brain controls our life, right? Our consciousness, our perception, what we focus on expands in our life, in our, in our, in our existence. So if we're unconsciously not seeing the benefits of sleep, we're not going to take any action on improving our sleep. It's all about helping rewire unconscious habits and benefits that we perceive around sleep. A lot of our life, we've maybe not bothered about sleep because no one's taught us how amazing sleep is. But what this strategy is, guys, is write down a hundred. This is this is a bit challenging. It's only for those who really want to improve their sleep and change their entire life. So write down a hundred to three hundred benefits of sleep. Sounds crazy. It sounds really big, but one hundred to three hundred reasons why uh, are the benefits on sleep to the body better energy, better clarity, better repair from the gym, better weight, quicker weight loss, less cravings, you know, looking more young, like just write down and you'll get to 50 and you'll be like, oh, I don't know anymore. So Google it, research, listen to some podcasts. The benefits of sleep are amazing. It's actually the like it's free and you can do it every day and it's going to be more beneficial than what you eat, the supplements you have, the exercise you're doing. Sleep is number one. Hopefully you guys can agree. If you put a big thumbs up, if you agree that sleep is number one, that'd be great. Okay, so that's strategy number five. Strategy number six is making sure that you have darkness in your space. Okay, pitch black, no lights, no windows, just go out of your way to put, I don't know, material or curtains or whatever it is. It needs to be pitch black. If there's even a one little light from an alarm clock across the room, that can affect our sleep. So something else that's really helped me um, is an eye mask. This eye mask is so nice and cushiony and relaxing, and that helps me have a super nice deep sleep. That is one of the best things I can recommend. I'm gonna recommend a whole bunch of biohacking tips as well. The eye mask is, is by far one of the best things I've ever bought. Okay, number, um, I think this is number seven. So in our room, we wanna make sure that there's no EMFs. What are, what are EMFs? Electromagnetic frequencies. We don't wanna have our phones, laptops, computers. We wanna make sure that where we're sleeping, there's no electrical lines, there's no phone chargers, there's no uh, any anything that has frequencies, man-made technologies, we wanna get out of the room, right? Out of the room. And a great way to test this is with an EMF meter. Okay, so you can buy these meters online. Um, there's different ones for radio frequencies, magnetic for motors and microwaves, and also electrical lines. So when I got this, I tested my bedroom, and where I was sleeping, my head was right next to the wall, and it had electrical lines behind it, it had wires. And that was actually showing up a certain distance where my head was. My head was what, right where the electrical uh, electricity field was coming out. And I had no idea. All I did is I switched my bed around, I moved where my head was, I started having a deeper night's sleep. These invisible forces around us are playing a massive part in our health and wellness and we don't even see it. Right now, this phone that you're looking at, you might be sitting in bed, you might be sitting on the couch. How close is your phone to your head? Think about all the dementia, anxiety, um, mental illness, our Alzheimer's people are getting these days super early and where are they putting their phones right next to their head like this and it's putting it's creating um, it's exposing our body to more and more frequencies so this right now this is about this is the the radio frequencies from my Wi-Fi from my phone it's red and you come back it's about half a meter about half a meter and if it goes green it's about yeah nearly a meter so this phone is amazing. These smartphones are great, but it's also killing us. And yes, we're strong. Yes, we're vital. We might not see anything for the next three to five years, but say 10, 20, 30 years on, it's accelerating disharmony in our body. So getting an EMF meter is a massive game changer for you and your family, checking out where you sleep, checking out your office, and being aware of these frequencies because they have a massive part to play. Okay, so that's reducing EMFs in your space. The next eight Step, step number eight is about reducing the blue light exposure. So what is blue light? Blue light is a spectrum of light. When you look at the rainbow, when you look at the spectrum of light, there's all the different shades of color. But, and within that is a blue light spectrum. Now, our, our lights, ceiling lights, our phone, our laptops, our computers, um, traffic lights, all these different lights have a, such a high blue light spectrum that it's very good for staying awake. 
It's very good for brightening up spaces and seeing things on the road and all that type of thing, which is amazing. It's all about safety. I get it. But when it comes to our biology, when it comes to how our brain works and the hormones that we produce, if we're exposed to too much blue light, blue light suppresses melatonin in the body. So at nighttime, you might be trying to get to sleep and you're exposing yourself and your eyes and everything to light. It's going to be hard to get to sleep. You're going to find your, your mind is racing and it's, it's hard to switch off. You're watching a movie or your phone or you're, you know, it's addictive. So that blue light at nighttime is going to really ruin our circadian biology and that rhythm of, of our hormones and getting to sleep. So a great way to get rid of um, the blue light at nighttime is wear these 10 minutes before you go to bed or an hour before you go to bed. And putting these on, anyone that I've noticed, I've coached with who has anxiety, um, well, not just anxiety, but insomnia and really bad sleep issues, they put these on and within 10 minutes, they're yawning and they want to fall asleep. Within 10 minutes. These block out 100% of the blue light. You can also get daytime blue blockers as well for driving or on your computer during the day. But these are nighttime. Don't drive with these because it changes the spectrum of light and the depth perception. But these are a game changer. I've had these for about six months and they've totally transformed my health um, through improving my sleep. And all my friends wear them. They're awesome. If you wear blue blockers, please, yes, yes, I wear blue blockers in the comments. That'd be epic. Um, all right, so that is step number Eight. Number nine um, is all about uh, one of my health mentors about six months ago introduced me to a frequency therapy device. It's from Germany. It's FDA approved. It connects to your earlobes and at nighttime it puts what's called a 0.5 hertz into our mind. It's, it's called through microcurrent. So I started using it and I found I had the, the deepest night sleeps of my life. It was helping me get super relaxed at night time and it helped me have really nice and vivid dreams. So there's a machine that this is it, it's, it's called the Healy. You plug in the electrodes here, they connect to your ears and uh, that's a frequency therapy device. It's linked up through the phone. You don't need to be a practitioner. And this has been an absolute game changer for me, biohacking through frequency therapy. So um, really, really interesting. That, that's just like a massive game changer. Um, I'm all about my gadgets, I'm all about my toys and tricks, and these dramatically help. And I think today, more than ever, if, we're will if we are choosing to live in the city around these toxic frequencies, we need to be aware and to mitigate and protect ourselves from the light or the frequencies or the dark or, or um, yeah, any of these frequencies. So these are massive supports that have really helped me. If you have any questions about this stuff, please just send me a message. Um, all right, step number 10 is all about making sure that you have a good, making sure that you exercise every day, whether it's a walk, a run, some sprints are amazing at the park. If you, if you have a small amount of time, now we probably have a lot more time. If you have a small amount of time every single day though, and you just want to get the best bang for buck, I highly recommend sprints. I'm not a bit massive fan of long distance running. It's not good for my joints, my back, and it just doesn't work for me personally. So if I want to get the best quality, I think there was a documentary called The Truth About Exercise and it was talking about the importance of sprints or high intensity training. And so whether you're starting exercise for the very first time and you're just getting into the rhythm or whether you've been doing exercise for a long period of time, short bursts can be really good for getting our, our, our blood flowing, our circulation going, our breath going and really increasing uh, our ability to burn sugar. So yes, during these times, we might feel stressed and worried and anxious and we're going for that healthy, um, non-healthy, comfort, sugary food. And so in order to kind of balance that, I'm human. I love a bit of sugar and chocolate and, you know, chips and stuff like that now and again. And so I know if I do some sprints or if I do some high intensity training, even if it's one minute every day, just one minute or even three, one minute, three times a week, doing a 20 minute, 20 second sprint and resting for five minutes, then doing another 20 second sprint and resting and then doing another 20 second sprint. So one minute of high intensity, three times a week is an absolute game changer. Don't think that you need to be slogging yourself at the gym underneath fake light. The best gym is shoes off in the park, in nature, under the sun, drinking some good water and really connecting um, to nature. That is the best exercise you can do. Go to the gym, smashing the weights like I used to do it under fake light, in fake air con, in with pumping, you know, toxic music, music going on is not good for our, um, the, our frequencies in our body. It's not the most supportive, nourishing, supportive <laughs> thing. I'm sorry for all the gym people out there, but going to the gym under fake light, 
aircon and take having rubber shoes rubber shoes disconnect us from the earth and really don't help our um our body release uh the tension or help us heal more effectively if you want to reduce lactic acid if you want to like really heal your body a lot quicker stand in nature get connected to the sun that's the best thing we can do so yeah exercising high intensity less is more don't overdo it if you're feeling exhausted don't don't go for a sprint just go for a walk go for a swim you know all these really calming things are really beneficial too uh, step number 11 is all about meditating stretching and breathing these are free it takes you know whether it's meditating for one minute five minutes you know 20 minutes just do a little bit every single day schedule this into your diary this is something I'm working on. You know, finding those little times throughout the day can be challenging. But if I put a reminder on or if I set a time that every single day I'm going to meditate no matter what during this time, that helps me. Uh, stretching, right? Releasing the tension in our body. Getting a massage is so, so beneficial to helping you get into those reparative deep states of sleep. And also breathing. You know, no one's taught us how to breathe, yet it's one of the most important health things of our entire life right? If you want to know how to breathe, it's all about breathing from here. Don't breathe. It's all about breathing. Don't worry if you look fat a little bit. Don't worry if you're pushing your belly out. The more oxygen you can get in. Buddha, if you think of Buddha, you know, the guy meditating, Buddha, really big be belly. It wasn't because he was fat because he ate a lot of food. It's because he was really good at breathing and taking in the oxygen. So I highly recommend breathing, staying grounded. Um, meditating and stretching every single day is going to help us stay calm, especially at nighttime before going to bed. If you can do five minutes of meditation, five minutes of breathing and five minutes of stretching, just 15 minutes into that evening routine that we're talking about, it will be a great foundation to build on, right? Um, st step number 12 is eating small amounts of, of dinner. Um, don't, don't overeat at nighttime. Don't overeat any time, but don't overeat at nighttime. It can affect our sleep. Try not to eat after, you know, 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, is probably the latest you'd like to eat. Um, a hot bath is excellent. A hot bath and massage, as I said. If you've got a bath, if you've got a shower, a nice hot one is epic. Um, even sometimes I like having a cold shower at nighttime. It, it does, does stimulate me, but at the same time, it stimulates me and then it helps me relax even more. So uh, that's also a really cool s strategy. Lastly is journaling and getting clear on your next day's top three goals. So journaling, right? in the morning or at night time, just sharing your thoughts, getting your thoughts out of your mind, whether you're triggered, worried about a business deal, a relationship conversation, something around family, whatever's coming up for you, journaling it, getting it out of your space. It's all just energy, right? It's just stuck energy. So if we just shift that up, shake it off, write it out, get it out of our mind and onto a piece of paper, writing out the top three things we're excited for the next day. If we can get excited, the night of before the next day, it's a game changer. You want to go to sleep because the next day is so exciting. So write out the next day, your top three goals, the top three things you're most excited about. Obviously, gratitude is really important. That's, that's a no-brainer. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, it, guys. For those who are just joining, I'm going to go through and just summarize them all really, really quick, right? The top one was creating a vision and a mission. If we create a life that's, that's pulling us, and that's really exciting and compelling, what's going to change our entire belief system around sleep. If we're not excited about life, if we're feeling down and depressed and anxious about the future, we're going to stay up late, we're going to eat the crappy food, we're going to do all those types of things. So getting a good, getting clear on our vision, purpose and mission, getting clear on our values, a great process is the Dr. John D. Martini values determination. If you want this process, send me a message. I can send it to you. The Dr. John D. Martini values determination. It's about getting clear on your values and your strengths and weaknesses. It's really, really powerful. Step number two was getting a morning and evening routine. So from this list that you're listening to right now with a piece of paper and a pen, write out two to three things that you want to take from this list and put on as your morning routine. Write out two to three things that you want to do in your evening to get relaxed so you have a deeper night's sleep. It's about having a routine. Get a piece of paper, put it next to your bed, put it on the fridge, wherever it is so it's in your space. Set a reminder. 
okay? I have a couple of reminders in my phone, go to bed at a certain time, right? Go to bed now. <laughs> um, so that's really important. Now, the step, especially for morning routine, and this is going to transform your whole life, is the sunrise, getting back in that circadian biology, getting exposure to the sun, the whole body, increasing your melatonin production for nighttime when it's dark. The two to three hours when it's dark at nighttime, that allows the melatonin to be ex expelled out of your body and um, released. So it's really important to get that darkness at night. You wanna reduce coffee stimulants and sugar. You wanna write out 100 to 300 reasons why um, on the benefits of sleep. Two to 300 reasons on the benefits of sleep. If you knew all the benefits of sleep, you'd get so excited to go to bed, right? How anti-aging it is, how awesome you feel, and how it's gonna affect your emotions and relationships and money. And f it's gonna affect everything, right? Sleep is so beneficial. It's number one and it's, and it's free. You wanna make sure you have a dark room. You wanna have an eye mask, right? You wanna make sure that you have protecting yourself from blue light. Turn the lights off at nighttime, use candles, have a uh, red light panel. That's been amazing at nighttime. Red light doesn't suppress the melatonin production so, or the release. So red light is what we would have grown up on the land, camping, a bush, a fire, not a bushfire, <laughs> camping with a bush, like a fire or some candles. It, it's very soothing and very relaxing for us. So I highly recommend reducing blue light, getting some blue blocking glasses. These are a game changer as well, especially if your mind races at nighttime. Uh, frequency therapy, uh, connecting the Healy. This is a machine I was recommending before. Connect it to your ears. 0.5 hertz, the insomnia and the sleep one has really helped me relax and get into a really nice restful, restful sleep, regardless of how stressed my day was. Um, exercising, some high intensity training, just doing one minute a day. And next week, do two minutes a day. And the week after that, do three minutes and build yourself up gradually with self-love is really important. Meditating, stretching, and breathing. Breathe. Breathe properly, deeply, breathe centeredly, uh, stretch your body out, get a massage, make sure you get all the kinks out of the body. Meditating, even as one minute, just focusing on your breath, closing your eyes, resetting your mind. The way I look at meditation, it's all about um, flossing your mind. Um, so you floss your, t floss your teeth to get rid of the gunk in your teeth. Meditation is flossing the mind to get rid of the gunk, to get out of the unnecessary worry of your mind. So I highly recommend doing that. It's something I'm working on too. I'm not perfect. Um, eating small amounts, not eating past 8 p.m. That's a really good tip. Um, hot bath, hot massage. That's an epic, epic strategy. Saunas are really good as well to relaxing the nervous system. And lastly, journaling, getting these thoughts and emotions and energy out of your mind, connecting to your top three goals for the next day, what's most exciting for you, as well as writing out what, what you're grateful for. And that moment that you go to sleep, I want you guys to ask yourself a question. That moment you go to sleep, what thoughts do you want to think about when you wake up the next day? What thoughts do you want to think about the next morning when you wake up. And we can program ourselves. We can choose here, guys. So this has been really fun, really exciting. Thank you so much for listening. Please share your favorite tip below, your other health tip as well. Please tag some friends, add some other people in here, and we'd love to connect with you another time. Have an amazing day, and thank you so much for having me. Happiness Aid, this has been an incredible opportunity, and uh, I know it's going to help a lot of people. So thank you so much. Arigato.